Hello there, this is Dr. Lee Zeitz and I want to talk to you for a couple of minutes about the EdTech Miner. Now I know that some of you out there are online. In other words, you're taking the class online, but if you're on campus and still online, you'll want to pursue this educational technology miner and I'll tell you why. One of the greatest things about our EdTech Miner is that it makes you more employable. You know, there isn't an educational technology endorsement in Iowa, but the educational technology miner is the closest thing you'll get. When you walk in that door with your application and they see that you know something about technology, time and time again we found that administrators want to hire people who know about technology. Let me tell you about it. Let's begin by taking a look at some educational technology miners. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a fun group? You know what? We're a real collegial group. We like to, we like to work together, we like to be together, and whether it's online or whether it's um, on campus, it's a great way to be. First thing we want to do is take a look at Facebook. Everybody likes Facebook, and you'll notice that our, at our address, we, we now have 663 likes. Why don't you go over and take a look at that address and see if you can bring it up another notch. Now let's take a look at what's in this. You know, there, there's only six classes, and out of those six classes, um, there's right here in, in front of you, the one class you're taking right now, the Ed Tech and Design class, is a required class for what you're doing. It's also a class that um, is part of the minor. Therefore, you don't have six classes anymore. You only have five. You have 15 credits. So let's take a look at those other credits. Well, the first one is creating an, an, a technology-rich learning environment. That's an on-campus on class, and it's one that which is kind of an ed tech two. And it is one that uh, you get to get into coding and, and visual literacy, a whole number of things. I think you'll find it to be an exciting class. Uh, exploring issues and trends in, in instructional technology. That's an online class which means you can take it anywhere anywhere you are. Planning and, and producing instructional media is where you actually get a chance to create movies and videos and all that sort of thing, and that in itself is an online class as well. Understanding visual literacy is an on-campus class. Um, the last one is developing and directing online learning. And developing and directing online learning is an online class, obviously. It needs to be. And so there, there's our, our six classes. Now here's something I'd like to point out, and that is that in some of you, some of you are working for minors in, um, in other things, such as special ed or something like that. And in a lot of cases, it would make a lot more sense for you to take technology classes in your own field because that would better apply to the things that you do for your minor. Now you'll notice that these two the classes that are in the yellow box are actually um, classes that you can replace. If you're off campus, the understanding visual literacy could be replaced with an on, online class. Um, if you happen to be in, say, science teaching, a ma science teaching major or minor, these are two classes that you could take to replace those two that were in the yellow box. Um, if you're a, a mathematics major or minor, these are two classes that you have to take, and those could replace those classes in the yellow box, meaning you're, you're down to three classes of, of ours that you need to take. Um, what if you happen to be in TESOL, or if you're a modern language major or minor? There's your class in technology and language education. That can count. Special education, we have a class on an intro to assistive technology for instruction. That can also... And what if you have another one that I, I didn't think of? Well, I'll tell you what. Just contact us. We can make that decision, and we can help, help you out and see how this is going to work to help you earn your educational technology minor. Now, what's coming up? Here, here's the upcoming courses. This summer in tw 2017, we have a class that's going to be in July. It's completely online, and it's called Planning and Producing Instructional um, Media. Great class, great teacher. You, you'll, you'll enjoy this one. Um, in the fall, we have three classes that will be online that will or that'll be accessible to you. First class is Issues and Trends in Instructional Technology, taught by Dr. Gao, and that is an online class. The second class is using digital and social media in education. That's one that's taught by me. It's a completely online class. We get to get into gaming and, and global collaboration, a whole bunch of great stuff. And the third one is understanding visual literacy. That's a face-to-face -face class that's taught on Monday nights and uh, could be, uh, it's a great class. People love it. So these are the things you can do if you want to sign up for your EdTech minor. Uh, you haven't decided that you want to do that yet? Well, I'll tell you what, here's some places I want you to go. Go take a visit and take a look at our website under uni.edu slash edtech slash minor. See, that's up in the upper left-hand corner of the screen.
Also, if, you, um, if you're on campus, you can just go down to um, SEC 151. that's on the first floor and talk to them there and they can help you um, sign up. Now, maybe you want to learn more about this. Tell you what, here's an address and this address is tinyurl.com slash tellmemoreet. And this is a page where you all you have to do is simply put your name and your email address and what you can do is you'll be put on a mailing list and we'll keep you posted about all of the options that are happening with EdTech. So I hope this has been useful for you. Um, please come and, and join us. Become part of our EdTech Miner and we look forward to meeting you. Bye.